here and this one I'm going to hit delete now I'm going to roll around to the back side <coughs> again I have to click on the gray area to deselect everything come back and click in here and click on the window now this one I am not going to delete because that's going to become the glass of my window now now try something here if just to show you let's say if I hit delete it would go away you can see it's now an opening okay so that created our opening um, <clears throat> the other thing that has happened is I don't have any fill in between the inner and outer shell and I've done this so I can kind of show you some other steps that we want to go through because it's nice if we can get this fill done right in the beginning so I'm going to do control Z several times till I get back to where the box is there okay we got our box back again and what I want to do this time is I'm going to say I got to collect a bunch of times in the gray to deselect everything All right, I mean we have to scroll back well there we go because I had the picture <coughs> click on the box highlight it okay what's happening is what I'm clicking I'm actually getting my picture highlighted see where that lines coming from that's because of the angle that I'm at so I need to come down here so I'm below now when I click in here see I get the box we're getting interference and those things happen now instead of deleting the whole box what I want to do is highlight the box and then come out and get the lines and I'm going to delete the lines of the box one at a time now again this seems like a lot of process but I'm doing this for a specific reason let's go to the back side of the box now and we're going to do the same thing here highlight it get the individual parts and delete the oop that didn't work got the wrong section I get the line there we go and just delete the lines and as you delete the lines the surfaces disappear okay deselect everything by clicking up missed one there it is click on the background to deselect everything all right now I'm gonna go back in the inside and click until I get this center section highlighted now I don't want the blue lines because if that's all done if I hit then I'm gonna hit delete the whole thing goes away and the wall goes away so I'm gonna control Z to bring the wall back and I need to make sure that just the inner side is highlighted so when I hit delete just the inside goes away now let's rotate back to the background click on the outside let's click till we get this shape again now again for right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily delete that and I'm only going to do this temporarily but just show you I'm going to delete and now you can see what happened because we deleted the lines of the box and not the box we've left a part of the box in here to create the uh, inner thickness of the wall the part that would be the part of the window that would be solid and you wouldn't see the space so that's why we went through all that process so we not only are we creating the space for the window we're creating the fill on the thickness between the two shells and I'm gonna go control Z to bring my uh, outer piece back highlight it and I'm going to do just the inside I've got highlighted no, actually I'm going to do the whole thing okay I'm going to go up to edit and this time I'm going to go to copy not cut I want to copy that space okay come down here and click on the gray to deselect everything go back up to edit and collect paste come down here and paste and now what I have done I've created the shape that will become the window glass in the trailer and I want to make this a component right click 
make component. And again, we need to name it because depending on the size of your trailer, you're going to end up with lots of windows that go in lots of places, and you want to keep the naming of your things clear. So I'm going to go window. And I always start out with window because in your component section, you're going to have furniture sections, interior sections, cell sections, lots of components so that carefully naming things really helps your drawing as you get more components and your drawing gets more complex. Now, if you didn't do that in the beginning, you can still go back and take these things and rename them to clarify the parts of your trailer and how you're working on them. I'm going to have it window and I'm just going to do ST for street, all right, because you get these uh, names too long that also can get confusing this is the window street FT for front and I'm going to put in this case big so that I know that it's the window on the street side in the front and it's the bigger windows that I'm working with alright and so you'll learn that you want to abbreviate too because that kind of helps you see things uh, when you're looking at your windows that has all your parts listed. Again, make sure that replace section with component is highlighted and click create. And now we have the piece for making our window. Now I can go back up and re-highlight and click on this and delete that piece so that we have in the process we went through, which is a pretty long process, but again, uh, unless somebody out there who's working with this come, can come up with a quicker, simpler method than I have, and if you do, I'd sure like to have you share it. Uh, what we do is we get the hole cut in the right place. We get the fill-in for the space between the inner and outer shells, which we need to finish it. And we also get the pattern out here to make our window so that uh, you know we've really accomplished three things by that longer approach uh, and we know that this will exactly fit in this space because it came from that space now just for simplicity uh, what I'm going to do and if you want to keep this simple you don't get your model really detailed some of you may later but what I'm going to do is go to materials click on the little house which means these are all the materials that are in my model that I'm working on right now and I'm going to click on the arrow on the side which brings down all the different kinds of textures that come with SketchUp that we can use in our model and I really haven't talked about this yet take the slider and slide it down where it says uh, translucent click on that and here are our window patterns and glass patterns that we can have and for right now I'm just gonna click on the blue glass because I we had used gray transparency when we are creating our shells back in the beginning I'm gonna use the blue just to keep it separate for now and if I click on my window you can see now my window is uh, translucent or transparent and if I want to keep just a simple indication like a color, I can click on my Move tool, grab the corner, move it back up and pop it into place, and I have the window uh, 